Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I am Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this episode of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with the reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A van from Hyundai, the Steria 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus 8AT, and a compact sedan from Honda, the Civic RS 1.5 Turbo CVT. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two vans, the Hyundai Steria versus Toyota High Ace Grandia Elite. On Autopedia, we'll talk about a vehicle's sock absorbers. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of the Team Hyundai Philippines car meetup as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode of Electronic Magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Hyundai. The Hyundai Star arrived late last year with much fanfare as the successor to the popular Hyundai Star X. This car review checks out one of the three variants of the Staria made available locally, the 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus Automatic Transmission. When Hyundai Motor Philippines formally relaunched the brand of the local market in August of 2022, it rolled out two new models of the all-new Creta, a V-segment SUV, and the Staria, a premium banner MPV along with the refreshed models in its local lineup. The Steria immediately caught the attention of the MPV and van market with its futuristic design in an interior with the latest tech and trendy creature comforts for VIP. The Steria doesn't look like the vans already in the market and should stand out with its low belt line and tall stands. Hyundai rolled out four variants of the Steria, the 7th year 2.2 CRDI Premium Plus 8AT AWD the 11-seater 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus 8AT, the 2.2 CRDI Commuter 6MT, and the 3-seater 2.2 CRDI Cargo 6MT. This car review takes a closer look at the 11-seater 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus. Like the Premium Plus and the Commuter, the Hyundai 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus 8AT is 5,253 meters long. 1,970 millimeters wide and 1,990 millimeters tall. The wheelbase is 3,273 millimeters long and the Steria clears the ground by 186 millimeters. Those dimensions as well as a unibody construction and front-wheel drive layout allow the Steria to seat 11 passengers in comfort in the GLS Plus variant with lower floorboard and taller interior height. But more on the interior later. The fascia with a unique grille, bumper, and headlight design concept. The GLS Plus features LED multi face reflector headlights with auto light control, LED daytime running lights, position lamp, bulb type rear combination lamps, and fog light. The body color side view mirrors power adjust and fold and come integrated with turn signals. Like the CRDI commuter, the GLS Plus comes with body color outside door handles sliding rear doors on both sides, and a manual lift tailgate. 
The body color front grille adds rather than subtracts from the Staria GLS Plus futuristic look. It also shares the reused boiler with a high mount top lamp found in the top three variants. The GLS Plus comes with 17-inch alloy wheels. One gets into the Staria GLS Plus conveniently with a smart key and button start. The GLS Plus comes with leatherette seats that look both posh and comfortable. There's ample shoulder and leg room from front to the back. Up front are seats for driver and two passengers. The seats recline with a driver benefiting from a height adjuster. The multi-purpose design of the front passenger seat includes a portable center console that makes room for a third passenger when raised. Right behind them is a bench-type seat for three which splits 60-40. Two independent seats are in row three. The final row features a bench set for three that easily slides to create extra luggage space in the back. All seats behind the driver can be folded flat to allow for more cargo space. The leather-wrapped steering wheel on the GLS Plus tilts and telescope and comes with controls for the audio system, Bluetooth, with voice recognition as well as conventional cruise control. The 10.25-inch TFT LCD sits on the dash to display for all the relevant info he needs on the drive as well as blind spot view monitor. Front and center is the 8-inch touchscreen display for the infotainment system with AM FM, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that plays through four speakers and two tweeters. The display also is for the surround view monitor when parking the vehicle. Underneath the touchscreen display are the controls and buttons for such conveniences as the air conditioning system. Other comfort and convenience features in the GLS Plus include central door locks, wireless charger, USB chargers on the front tray, seat and luggage side, power windows, overhead console and room lamps. The Staria is powered by a 2199cc CRDI VGT DOHC 16-valve engine complied with Euro 4 emission regulations. The engine generates 177 PS at 3800 revolutions per minute and 430 Nm of torque from 1500 to 2500 RPM. In the GLS Plus, the engine is made into an 8-speed automatic transmission that sends power and torque to the front wheels. The Staria powertrain also comes with Drive Mode Select from Eco, Comfort, Smart, and Sport. Unibody construction also allow for a more comfortable ride with a suspension that uses McPherson struts with coil spring in front and rigid axle 5 link with coil spring in the back. The brake system uses 17-inch discs on all four wheels. Hyundai also equipped the Staria GLS Plus with various safety and driver assist features that include anti-lock brake system, hill start assist control, electronic parking brake with auto hold, manual speed limit assist, and tire pressure monitoring system. It also comes with parking distance warning, forward and reverse, surround view monitor. Added for safety are dual front airbags, side and curtain airbags, child seat anchors, child lock, and three-point seat belts. Many believe the Starks helped make Hyundai a trusted brand in the country. The Hyundai Star has the look, tech, and features that should attract families looking for a cool and comfortable van. The latest auto industry news and development right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. The 
Mitsubishi Strata athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Toyota Motor Philippines has publicly launched the all-new Wego at the Trinoma Activity Center in Quezon City. The new Wego features a bold redesign and improved technology and driving performance. TMP believes the new Wego will continue to be the starter Toyota or the first Toyota that people will buy. The Wego has become uh, one of the favorite vehicles in our lineup. With this new model, uh, we are showing the new features, the, the big changes in this uh, product, and we believe uh, it will continue to be uh, the good partner of uh, customers who are first time coming into the formal market, and uh, we will be able to showcase to them the new Wego. Toyota has sold more than 149,000 Wegos since the model was introduced in the country in 2014. The new Wego comes in three variants. The Wego J, which comes with manual transmission and is priced at 609,000 pesos. The Wego E, priced at 684,000 pesos. And the top of the line Wego G, priced at 729,000 pesos and comes with smart keyless entry and push start ignition system. 8 inch display audio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Honda Car Philippines also went to the mall to roll out the new city in Rio. Over four days, Honda showcased the refreshed city in Rio at the Mega Fashion Hall in SM Mega Mall. Aside from the refreshed look, the Honda City now comes with Honda Sensing in all variants, including the entry-level 1.5e CVT Honda Sensing, priced at 973,000 pesos. Top of the line is the 1.5 RS CVT Honda Sensing priced at 1,128,000 pesos and features newly crafted RS design front grille with RS emblem, new front and rear bumper with carbon wrap lower molding, among other things. The new Brio is now more stylish with a top of the line 1.2 RS black top CVT priced at 863,000 pesos, getting piano black RS design front grille, updated fog lights, and fog light garnish. RS Design Side Sill Lower Garnish, Tailgate Spoiler and RS Design Rear Bumper Lower Garnish, and 15-inch RS Design Alloy Wheels. During the launch, Honda assured buyers that availability of units will not be a problem. The Bio and the new city is available starting today in our dealership. Okay. And uh, we have to assure the customer that we have available stocks for them. No? There is no issue about stocks for this new model, so if you are really interested in this model, you could visit our dealership and you could actually buy them now, starting this afternoon in our dealership. Honda is targeting sales of 500 units a month for the city and 300 units a month for the Brio. We have a new city and the Brio and the, definitely this is one of the, our uh, top sellers on the Honda Cars Philippines. So we are expecting a monthly 500 units for the city and also 300 units for the Brio. The new generation 2024 Trax has arrived, signaling exciting times for the Covenant Car Company Incorporated Chevrolet. We're very excited with the new products that are coming out with Chevrolet. We have five models coming out the next few quarters and we know that uh, our market has been very anticipating the new models on Chevrolet. So we look forward to bringing them all in and of course it starts with this new generation SUV, the Chevrolet Trax. Chevy Philippines is confident that 2024 Trax will be a hit with its target market. This is the new generation or tracks. It's bigger, bolder, and more refined than the previous generation Trax model. Uh, it comes with a 1.2 lightweight engine. Uh, it's a crossover SUV and it has a lot of safety features and a lot of comfort and convenience features that we feel are going to be very attractive to the target audience of young and confident go-getters and uh, achievers in the Philippines. It was eminently Instagrammable, or it's tough for viral videos on social media. 20 identical new Almeras in moon pearl gray rolling down the streets. Following the unveiling of the new Almera at the Okada Hotel, Nissan Philippines invited journalists and content creators to be part of the first Drive Pinas event of the year. 
The event provided participants the opportunity to experience driving and riding in the new Almera with Nissan Connect services. The drive covered over 600 kilometers of driving through city streets, expressways, and country roads from Manila to San Juan La Union. First on the test drive, I think the most important part is that you can test the vehicle. The safety, the responsiveness, uh, also a fuel consumption during the whole trip, and also the new things that the car brings, because we have a lot of new Nissan intelligent features for safety, but also we have the new design and the looks. We want also to, also to have a deep dive on the new technology, especially the connected car services that you can try, that you can understand the features, that you can understand the capabilities using from your fingertips with a smartphone, all the features that you can activate it through the smartphone. Nissan is inviting those looking for sedans to visit dealerships to check out the new Almera while assuring stocks are available for immediate delivery to buyers. So today we don't have a supply concern, we have already uh, passed that in terms that we can provide uh, customers uh, the units in the Almera if they go to our dealers. So I recommend that you go to the dealers and you can decide which color do you want. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We should take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile models belong to the same category on Head to Head. The local van market has never been as crowded as today. In this edition of Head to Head, we pit two exciting options, the Hyundai Staria and the Toyota Super Grandia in a spec-to-spec -spec comparison. There's a new van in the market and it's attracting a good bit of attention from families looking for a van on the higher end of the spectrum. Hyundai rolled out four variants of the Staria, one of them the 11-seater 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus 8AT. This van can be compared directly with the 10-seater Toyota Hi-A Super Gandia Elite. The Hyundai 2.2 CRDI GLS Plus 8AT Staria is 5,253mm long, 1,970mm wide, and 1,990mm tall with a 3,273mm long wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 186mm. The Toyota Hi-A Super Candia Elite is 5,300mm long, 1,970mm wide and 1,990mm tall with a 3,210mm long wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 175mm. The Staria GLS Plus features a unique grille, bumper and headlight design concept and comes with LED multi-phase reflector headlights with auto light control, LED daytime running lights, position lamp, bulb type rear combination lamps and fog light, and body color side view mirrors with turn signals that power adjust in full. The GLS Plus comes with body color front grille and outside door handles, sliding rear doors on both sides, a manual lift tailgate, rear spoiler with high mount stop lamp and 17 inch alloy wheels. The high a Super Gandia Elite features bi-beam LED headlamps with integrated turn signals and automatic leveling device, LED front fog lamps, headlamp cleaner, rain-sensing wipers and front and intermittent wipers with mist in the rear, rear window defogger with timer, rear roof spoiler, a 17-inch alloy rim shot, and two 3560R17 tires. The large sliding doors on both sides are powered and the rear door features an auto-easy closer. 
comfort and convenience in the Staria GLS Plus begin with the smart key with button start. The GLS Plus comes in leatherette seats. Up front are multi-purpose seats for driver and two passengers. The seats recline with a driver benefiting from a height adjuster. A foldable center console folds up to provide room for a third passenger up front. The second row features a bench-type seat for three with split 60-40. Two independent seats are in row three. The final row features a bench seat for three that slides in and creates extra luggage space in the back. The seats behind the driver can be folded flat to allow for more cargo space. The leather wrapped steering wheel on the GLS Plus tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for the audio system, Bluetooth and voice recognition as well as conventional cruise control. The 10.25 inch TFT LCD sits on the dash to display relevant info as well as the blind spot view monitor. Other comfort and convenient features in the GLS Plus include air conditioning, central door locks, wireless charger, USB chargers on front tray, seat and luggage side, power windows, overhead console and room lamps. The IA Super Gundy Elite also comes in smart key entry system integrated with push button start and large sliding doors on both sides. Inside the Elite cabin features lots of leather for trim and wood accents with room for 10 passengers in seats upholstered in leather. The driver enjoys the comfort of a six-way power adjusting seat. The front passenger just slides and reclines. The row just behind the driver features a pair of power adjusting captain's chairs with ottoman. Two more captain's chairs are behind those while the rearmost bench seat can accommodate four passengers. Also wrapped in leather and with wood accents, the steering wheel features buttons and switches for such functions as audio, phone, cruise control, multi-information display. The Optitron gauge and 4.2-inch TFT display are perfectly placed and easy to read. The leather-covered shift lever is mounted on the dash. The Staria infotainment system features an 8-inch touchscreen display, AM FM radio, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, and four speakers plus two tweeters. The display is also for the surround view monitor when parking the vehicle. The infotainment system in the Super Grandi Elite features a touchscreen display and plays CD, DVD, MP3, FLAC. It comes with aux support, Bluetooth, T-Link for both Apple and Android mobile phones, K2 technology, and six speakers. The Staria GLS Plus is powered by a 2,199cc CRDI VGT DOHC 16-valve engine that generates 177 PS at 3,800 revolutions per minute and 430 Nm of torque from 1,500 to 2,500 RPM. This is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission that sends power and torque to the front wheels. The Staria powertrain comes with drive mode select from Eco, Comfort, Smart, and Sport. Of unibody construction, the Staria rides on a suspension system that uses McPherson struts with coil spring in front and rigid axle 5 link with coil spring in the back. The brake system uses 17-inch discs on all four wheels. The Super Gundy Elite is powered by a 2.8-liter 1GD FTV diesel engine that maxes out at 176 PS at 3,400 RPM and 450 Nm of torque from 1,600 to 2,400 RPM. This is made into a 6-speed automatic transmission that sends power and torque to the front wheels. The Super Grandia rides on a suspension system that features McPherson struts in front and foil link coil spring in the rear. The brakes use ventilated discs on the front and rear wheels. Here they equip the Staria GLS Plus with various safety and driver assist tech that include anti-lock brake system, hill start assist control, electronic parking brake with auto hold, manual speed limit assist, tire pressure monitoring system. It also comes with parking distance warning, forward and reverse, plus a round view monitor. Added for safety are dual front airbags, side and curtain airbags, child seat anchors, child lock, three-point seat belts. The High a Super Gandhi Elite is equipped with Toyota Safety Sense, advanced safety technologies that include pre-collision system, lane departure alert, adaptive cruise control, and automatic high beam. The Super Gandia comes standard with other driver assist and safety technologies that include anti-lock brake system, vehicle stability control with brake assist, hill start assist, as well as SRS airbags, three-point seat belts for all 10 occupants, child chain system with isofix and teether anchors, and Toyota vehicle security system. In the realm of 10 or 11-seater vans, the Staria GLS Plus and High a Super Grandia Elite meet many wants and needs sought in vans for the family.
Isuzu Mu X. Take the lead. The Mitsubishi Strata athlete, confident to the core. Life should be filled with stories to be liked and loved. Elevate your drive with the new Honda City. Take value and performance to the next level so you can view more places and check into new experiences. With Honda Sensing, you can do all these with peace of mind, with its modern design and advanced features. The new Honda City is for those who are ready to step up their game. The new Honda City. Elevate your drive. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. The Park Links is getting to be a favorite venue for car meetups. The latest group of car guys to hold a meetup there is Team Hyundai Philippines. This special feature is all about what happens when a bunch of Hyundai loyalists meet up. Hello everyone, I'm Rico Soriano of Team Hyundai Philippines. I'm currently the president of the group. Right now, we are celebrating our second uh, Grand Eyeball for the year 2023 here at Park Links. Hyundai Motors Philippines uh, gave a sneak preview of the Ionic 5 to the members of Team Hyundai Philippines and a sneak preview of the Stargazer and the all-new Tucson. Team Hyundai Philippines organized this kind of event to boost camaraderie among the members of uh, Hyundai Group as well as to promote the different vehicles the new distributor promotes. For the whole Philippines, we have uh, 5,000 official members and in Manila, around close to 1,000. For today, we have members from Noveloster, Team Reyna, Team Accent, Elantra Club, Tucson Owners Group, Club Starex, and Santa Fe Club Philippines. To be a member of Team Yundi Philippines, just join our Facebook group, Team Yundi Philippines. We are gathering four times each year. Every quarter, we are celebrating our Grand Eyeball. And the grandest we have is during our anniversary, held during November each year. We are a non-profit organization. We do not charge membership fees to our members. Uh, with the support of AHMPH, we will have our next gathering on the third quarter of this year. I would like to invite uh, all the Hyundai owners out there to join Team Hyundai Philippines. Just search Team Hyundai Philippines on Facebook. It appears Hyundai is really fortunate to have the support of Team Hyundai Philippines, whose members describe themselves as a community of Hyundai owners and enthusiasts who passionately promote the brand. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the Toyota we go. Are you into grassroots racing, slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing? Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily ride or weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes, from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. 
FixStop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash fixstopautoservice. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as you have our second car review this week. This car review takes a look at the 2023 Honda Civic 1.5 RS Turbo CVT. Aside from the newly launched all-new Civic Type R, there are now only two other Civics in the local lineup of Honda, the Civic 1.5 S Turbo CVT and the Civic 1.5 RS Turbo CVT. When Honda Philippines finally brought the 11th generation Civic to our shores, many loved the way it looked with the longer hood and sloping roofline, the sharp character lines. The Honda Civic is now 4,678mm long, 1,802mm wide, and just 1,450mm at its highest point with a 2,735mm wheelbase and clear the ground by 134mm. It is sleek, sporty, and seemingly more mature than its predecessor, but in a good way. It also stands out with the RS emblem on the grille, black painted side mirrors, door handles, shark fin antenna, door sash garnish, and trunk spoiler, and 18-inch RS design alloy wheels. The dual exhaust pipes are chrome. The RS rolls on 23540ZR18 95 wide tires. The side mirrors have integrated turn signals and power adjust in full. The LED headlights feature a black ring, automatic headlight adjustment, auto on and off function. The RS also comes with LED fog lamps, daytime running lights, high mount stop lamp, and tail lights. Smart keyless entry and push button start have ceased to be wow factors in new vehicles as most respectable 5 door sedans offer the same. Nonetheless, it's very convenient to be able to unlock the doors and start the engine from the Honda Civic RS with no need of a key, just a key fob in pocket. Once inside the Civic RS, one can see and feel the rich premium materials used for the cabin, seats, and trim. There's premium leather and suede for the seats with the driver enjoying 8-way power adjustable and hiss. Front passenger makes do with a seat that slides and reclines manually. The rear seat for 3 splits in full 60-40 and features adjustable headdress. The dash can be described as high-tech minimalist with a 10.2-inch full digital instrumentation display that can be customized, the honeycomb trim that runs across a dash, the rotary knobs, and digital display for the dual-zone automatic climate control system that also comes with rear air vents. The steering wheel wrapped in leather provides a good, comfortable grip and looks more elegant than sporty. The steering column tilts and telescopes for convenience and comfort. The intuitive controls are audio, multi-information display, and adaptive cruise control, a voice assistant with an easy reach of thumb and hands in the 9-3 position. The center floor console houses the shift knob that is skirted in leather, the electronic parking brake, the toggle switch for the drive mode, and twin cup or beverage holders. The center armrest is quite comfortable and wide enough for two resting arms. Ambient lighting, including on the door panels, provide great atmosphere inside the cabin. The RS also comes with sport pedals. The Civic RS features a 9-inch floating touchscreen for the infotainment system that comes with Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, hands-free telephone connectivity, USB input. It also comes with Bose 12 speaker sound system as well as a wireless charger. Driving the Civic RS is quite fun-powered as it is by a 1.5-liter 4-cylinder DOHC VTEC turbo engine that produces 178 PS and 240 Nm of torque and is mated to a continuously variable transmission that drives the front wheels. The fun especially comes when on sport mode, and when the spirit moves, the paddle shifters come in handy to get most out of those revs. For more sedate driving, there's Econ and Normal Mode. Honda also paid a lot of attention to minimize noise, vibration, and harness levels in the 11th generation Civic cabin. The 11th generation Civic is both stable and agile which is best tested on uphill climbs and downhill corners. The longish wheelbase and wider tread combined with a well-tuned suspension feature in front of the and struts and multi-link system in the rear ensure this. Confident stopping power comes from a brake system using this on all four wheels, ventilated in front. Confidence driving the 11th generation Civic is all the more enhanced by Honda Sensing, a suite of state-of-the-art driving assist and safety technologies aimed at building a collision-free society. Adaptive cruise control makes it easy to comply and maintain power speeds at highways with speed limits, automatically braking or decelerating when coming behind slower vehicles and accelerating back up to the speed limit when clear. Low speed follows similarly helps in crawling and stop and go traffic. Other helpful tech in Honda Sensing includes collision mitigation braking system, road departure mitigation, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, lane keeping assist system, and lead car departure notification. Also giving confidence and convenience is the multi-view reverse camera with guidelines to aid with parking. 
Other safety features on the Civic RS include lane watch camera, Wakawi auto door lock, dual front airbags, side and curtain airbags, 53.0 ELR seat belts with reminder, child lock, ISOFIX child seat anchor. Also standard are anti lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability assist, hill start assist, emergency stop signal, G con body structure, and security alarm and immobilizer. In rolling out the 11th generation Civic, Honda aimed to set a high bar for the compact sedan segment and the Honda Civic RS Turbo CVT Honda Sensing is not far off that target. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney and today we'll talk about shock absorbers. So this is your vehicle shock absorber. As the name implies, it absorbs the shock of the bad roads that we have here in the Philippines. Now, old timers will ask you and then, ano ba yung shock mo? Fluid or gas? Wala nang fluid shock ngayon. They're all gas shocks. But here's the thing. Inside here is both gas and fluid. It's called gas shock because up here there is pressurized nitrogen gas here, but the shock absorption it's still done by oil, it's still a fluid. It's just that the old, old shocks don't have any pressurized gas and it's just fluid. So now, it's both gas and fluid. All shocks right now are like that. As you can imagine, this thing goes up and down to absorb the shock. This is actually called a McPherson strut, after, named after the guy who invented it. So what that simply means is that there is a basso here where the spring sits. This bolts on to the axle and the hub, and this bolts to the chassis. So the big question is, how do you know if sirat na yung shocks mo? The easiest, fastest, and most sure way to find out, you have to take the shock out of the car to be able to tell if it's busted or not. So here we have two shocks. One is new, one is old. This one is busted, and I'll show you why. As you can see, it don't go up no more. Effectively, this thing is not absorbing any shock at all. And we compare it to a new shock. As you can see, it has to go up on its own and it has to go up pretty fast. If it doesn't go up this fast, it's also busted. Or dead or dying. New, old, dead, alive. You may have heard the old school advice also. You make kalog kalog the car to see if the shocks are okay. That is also not true, and I'll show you why. We have several cars here to demonstrate. The old school wisdom is, if it does that, that the shock is okay. No, not necessarily. Because what you're doing is just pushing down on the spring, and it just goes up. What makes the shock goes up is actually the spring. Then we have here another car. It doesn't go up or down, so what does that mean? The shock is busted? No, it's not. BMs are really like that. That's why the handling is good. Uh, here, we have a Fortuner. It bounces a lot more than the Ford Explorer. But is the shock dead? No, it's not. It's just really like that. <laughs> so that method doesn't really work. You cannot be certain if your suspension is good or bad just by doing the bounce test. No, because every car behaves differently when you bounce it. So the only real way to know if your shock is good or bad is to have it taken out and then do the press test what I just did. Ano magandang bilhin na shock? You can always, always buy OEM. You can go to the casa, buy whatever that they're selling, and then call it a day. It is, after all, the same spec as what you have. If you're looking for something cheaper, get one of these, KYB XLG. This is pretty much the same spec as the original shock, but of course at a cheaper price. And chances are, if you have a Japanese car, KYB has an application for it. So this is a front shock. This is a rear shock. This, I believe, is for a Honda Jazz. This, I believe, is for a Lancer. If you want to step up from something better, KYB also has this. It's called a new SR Special. It looks exactly the same as the shock that's going to be taken out. The big difference is what's inside here. This one will actually give a better ride than 
what you have because like I said, it's a shock absorber. It's better at absorbing the shock. And there are things that make it slightly better. A bigger and fatter shaft than the original one. The piston inside here is also better than the valving is also slightly different. And this one is built to take lowering springs if your ride is lowered. Because if you put lowering springs on a OEM shock, chances are in less than a year, your shock ain't gonna work no more as well. So might as well get a set of these. And for German cars, there's only one go-to brand. It's Bilstein. That's it. <laughs>So there, hopefully, you have now a better understanding of what your vehicle shock absorber does and how to spot if it's busted. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you found this episode of Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining check us out on our facebook twitter and instagram accounts on behalf of my dad butch gamboa this has been your host ray louis gamboa please stay safe and healthy